people that will not be elected president. Rick Perry, and, and strictly because, and I'm sure you've seen it, and there's a link in the down bar, as always, uh, he's got this video called Strong, and that's his, it's his new campaign ad, where he basically says that he's going to restore faith in the White House. He thinks it's ridiculous that gays can serve openly in the military, but people can't pray in school. Excuse me, Rick Perry, these gays are laying their lives down on the line for our freedom. And you're worried about prayer in schools. Now, I don't know how it is everywhere in the world. I just remember my high school experience where uh, prayer was actually allowed if it just wasn't a public public setting. Um, so that's that. But uh, in the beginning, there was a separation between church and state, not emerging. And granted, almost every single president has been a Christian or at least has labeled themselves a Christian. Uh, there, there is a very strong separation of church and state, as there should be. Uh, but not, no, not for Rick Perry. He's going to restore the faith back in the White House. <sighs> that video just completely frustrates me. I'm, I'm more of a moderate. There, I'll uh, tell you guys my political views. Oh, look at that messy room back there. So sexy. Um, I'm a moderate. So, you know, I don't necessarily vote Republican. I don't necessarily vote Democrat. I vote with whoever I think is the best candidate, and I will uh, let you in on a little secret, and that is my personal, you know, beliefs on who I'm going to elect in this, because I'm, I'm over the age of 18, I'm, I'm almost 21, crazy, right? Um, so I'm, I'm going to be voting, and I have no freaking idea who I'm voting for. I cannot find a single candidate that I support. Um, you know, I want to say that I support Obama, but on the flip side, he really hasn't done that much, and the decisions that he has made, I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, then you've got the other side, where you've got Michelle Bachman, who is this completely uh, ignorant, ignorant woman. <laughs> and now Rick Perry, because uh, he was actually the frontrunner in my head, which is really, really sad. Because if he was the frontrunner, I mean, it's just saying what this election's going to be like. Uh, so long story short, link in the down bar to this video. Rick Perry, man, separation, church, state, make that distinction. Um, you know... The White House is not a church. It's not this place where you need to be promoting um, Christian values every day. It, the White House's position is to make decisions for the United States, and not all of the United States is Christian. So, make that distinction. I'm not getting into my religious beliefs. Again, I never do that. I'm sorry. Uh, so, exciting news. If you guys are interested in jammy packs, fanny packs with speakers, uh, this is the first announcement, really. Uh, I would show you, but I'm currently not wearing pants or underwears, lady, ladies. The, what did I? What? Did, what just came out of my mouth? Was that even words? Uh, but I got a 50% off coupon. If you if you enter the code GHERO, G H E R O at checkout, you get 50% off anything on the store. I'll just throw that in the down bar if you're interested. This isn't a sponsor. I just worked out a discount code. If that's okay, I just want the fanny pack to come back. That's all. All right, kind of like Rick Perry wants to reinstate faith. I want to reinstate the fanny pack, so I, I see where you're coming from, Rick Perry. I see where you're coming from. All right, I'm just ridiculous. It's finals week. I'm tired. Bear with me. I love you guys. Bye.